Good morning, friends. It's time to shear the sheep. You can see here the shearer has some clippers, just like when we get a haircut. And he's slowly going along the skin. Here he's doing the chest and the neck and careful up by her cheek. And he's getting all of that old wool off from the winter. Now in the winter, it kept her nice and warm, but now the wool is kind of dirty and it's getting hot for summer. So we're gonna take all that wool off now. And underneath, she'll be nice and clean and white. See now he's doing her shoulder. What's nice is this is just like when you get a haircut. It doesn't hurt the sheep. It just feels good to get all that heavy wool off. Once the wool is sheared from the sheep, then it will be time to wash the wool, card it to get out all the tangles and all the hay. Then it will be time to dye the wool and spin it into yarn. Once the wool is into yarn, then we could use it to make just about anything. We could make a blanket, a sweater, a scarf, you take some mittens or a hat. They'll be all set. After they finish shearing the sheep, the piece of wool is called a fleece. We put the fleece in a bag and then it can be sold to a crafter or someone who will clean it and use it for making sweaters and blankets. The next thing we do with the sheep before they're done is they get their hooves trimmed. That helps their feet stay healthy while they're out in the pasture. This is just like clipping your nails. Thanks for joining us today. See you soon. After the wool is sheared, the big piece of wool is called a fleece. But shearing is just the beginning. If you look closely at this wool, what do you see? I see grass and straw and dirt, and even a little bit of poo. So the next step would be to wash the wool. Sometimes it needs to be washed six or seven or eight times to get it all the way clean. The other thing that happens when you wash the wool is all of the wool grease or lanolin comes out into the wash water. That lanolin is then used to make lotion or cosmetics. It can even be used to help machines run better by with oil and the grease that you put on some of the joints. After the fleece is washed, it will look like this. It'll be soft and clean and it'll smell nice. Mm -hmm. Now you could keep a big piece of fleece like this um, and make a blanket out of that. But most of the time, wool is made into yarn. But there's a little bit more work to it. First, I wash the fleece. Then after the fleece is clean, it's still not quite ready to make a sweater. Take a look. What do you notice? Yeah, there's still pieces of straw in there. You can see there's some little tangles in the wool. This isn't ready to knit or crochet or make a blanket or a sweater. We need to do some other work first. We need to comb out the wool and get out all the pieces of debris and get all the tangles out. So the next thing that we do is called carding. And carding just means you're brushing out the wool. These are carding brushes. I put a little bit of wool in between them and now I comb the wool. You can see the brushes have little metal spikes, just like sometimes if you brush your dog with a brush. 
And this is getting all of the hairs, all of the fibers going in the same direction, okay? So carding is important. And how long would it take, do you think, if I can only do this little piece at a time, how long would it take to card an entire fleece? A really long time. In the old days, in the winter, this is something that they would do um, all winter is carding and then spinning it into thread. And then finally they could make clothes. After some of the wool is nice and all going the same direction, then I take it out of the carding brush and it kind of just rolls up as it comes out. And that gives me a nice, soft little roll of, of wool. Now this piece kind of looks like a cloud. This piece is ready to make thread. And this is what I would use in a spinning wheel to twist it and make it strong because right now I can still pull it apart really easily like cotton candy. But once it's twisted with a spinning wheel, then it becomes strong and then I can't pull it apart. Wow. It's not quite done yet, is it? But after it's twisted, that makes it into strong thread, and then that thread could be made into clothes. Making a sweater would be a lot of work. We have to shear the sheep, then we have to wash the wool, card the wool, dye the wool, spin the wool, and finally you could start making the clothes a sweater or a blanket, there would be a lot of work. Nowadays, we have a lot of machines to do this work for us. But in the old days, people did it by hand. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thanks for joining me today. See you soon.